for U.S. Bank and what you need to know. Obviously, these things change all the time, so make sure that you put your updated data points in the comment section. Also, keep in mind, depending on where you apply in the nation, I'm in Las Vegas, but depending on where you apply in the nation, these things can be different of who they're pulling from. But let's just talk about U.S. Bank, the good, the bad, the sad, the ugly, and then um, I'll tell you my opinion at the end about what I think about U.S. Bank. But anyways, U.S. Bank, a pretty large regional bank. They're pretty much everywhere. They're they're very conservative in their lending. Uh, they're not so much concerned about how many cards you have with them. Some issuers are. They're like you can't have more than four cards, and then you know more more than ten charge cards. Amex has the four ten rule: no more than four credit cards, no more than ten charge cards. U.S. Bank is different. They're not so much concerned about how many cards you have with them, but how much credit that they're extending to you. So their internal score is going to be like, how much credit do we feel comfortable lending to this person across all cards? So keep that in mind. They are, from my research and from my experience, I have the U.S. Bank Platinum card. I have videos on why I don't like U.S. Bank. <laughs> kind of already gave you a preview. I got playlists all over the place, too. So check out all the playlists. Credit cards, no credit card check, build business credit, credit repair, all that type of stuff. All these type of videos I'm releasing all the time. A little bit for everybody. So check those out. Shameless plug, but U.S. Bank, um, I they 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 pulled from TransUnion for me, uh, but they're also I've heard pulling from Experian. So those would be the two. I haven't heard anything about Equifax with U.S. Bank, but I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. So if you guys have had an experience of with U.S. Bank, who do they pull from? And I'm not knocking you if you like U.S. Bank. I just like more liberal lenders. I like lenders that are very liberal in their lending and not so stingy in their underwriting, okay? Um, the US Bank Altitude Reserve Visa Infinite card, that card you will not be able to get with them whatsoever if you don't have a banking relationship. So if you're trying to get that card, you need to make sure that you're banking with them and I would say at least three billing cycles before I'd even apply for that card. They're pretty, they're pretty, they got their own underwriting, like on on checking uh, personal lines of credit, checking line of credit. It's usually like six months, nine months on some stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> hard pull from TransUnion. Uh, they're soft pulls. Uh, they they'll say they'll say um, their credit limit increases could be a soft pull. But most of the time, they're a hard pull. I mean, I wouldn't even risk it. If I'm going for a credit line increase, which I'm going to try to do again with U.S. Bank, I'm going to freeze all of my bureaus just in case they try to pull it and just rely on their internal data for the credit line increase. That's what I would recommend all the time with credit line increases is to freeze your bureaus so that way you don't get a hard pull. And if they deny you, they deny you. But if they try to pull and they don't pull, if they try to pull and they can't get through, sometimes they'll immediately deny you or they'll just go off of internal data and approve you for a limit increase. Because here's the thing too, is when it comes to credit line increases, you don't want to do that, use hard pulls for those because what happens if you get denied? You can't remove it. And why would you wanna waste a hard pull on an open account? Just open a new credit card, use that hard pull for that and get cards that don't require hard pulls for some, for for credit line increases. I actually have a whole video on credit cards and store cards that do not use hard pulls for credit line increases. So check that video out in the description as well. But US Bank, um, they're more worried about the limits. They're also worried about how many new accounts you've had in the last 12 months. I didn't get an exact number. And inquiry sensitive, of course. Um, my experience with them when I've, I have one card with them, the U.S. Platinum card. Why did I get the U.S. Platinum card? Because you guys know that I'm a huge 0% APR guy. I love credit cards that will give you 0% APR for 12 to 18 months. I like those type of cards a lot because it's like an interest-free loan. okay? And it's just a really easy way to scale up a business quickly, especially with what I do, a consulting business, e-com, all types of stuff. It's just super convenient. So... I got the card. I'm like, yeah, 18 months. Let's go, bro. And guess what I got? A $2,000 limit. Who can do anything with $2,000 limit on the personal side? Right? On the personal side. Who can do anything with that? If I used 
If I use 500 bucks and I carry a balance, man, I got 25% utilization. The sweet spot is seven. Some say 2%. Two to 7%. That's where you want to keep your utilization. I, I mean, 2% of, of, of $2,000, what's that, 20 bucks? I can't, I can't do the math tonight. I, think it's, I don't know. Anyways, 40 bucks. Okay, I, I can buy steak dinner at a Mexican restaurant, okay? Love Mexican food. But anyways, <clears throat> U.S. Bank, concerned with the credit limits, not so much the credit cards, really selective on uh, their underwriting and who they approve. Uh, you won't be able to get many cards with them from what, I, what I've been gathering. Even with the business side, even if you have a business card with them, you may get two to three. If you have more than two or three U.S. Bank cards, please let me know in the description below. Anybody that has U.S. Bank, please comment your experience with them, even if it's been different than mine. I would love to hear. I wish you the best. I want you to have the best experience with U.S. Bank. Unfortunately for me, they just don't like me, and they, they've had a hard, I've had a hard time with them. I know they use Elon Financial for their underwriting, which is super conservative as well. My opinion to you would be this. When you're starting off your credit journey, obviously you need to get some type of card. I would recommend if you can get in the Navy Federal, do that, or a credit union, do that. Get a secured card that graduates, and then go for Chase and go for U.S. Bank, um, because they're and you and Bank of America, because those are going to be banks that welcome people with not a lot of cards, um, and in that type of frame, you wouldn't have a lot of cards. So I would recommend U.S. Bank, Chase, and Bank of America if you want to do. Um, build out your, your profile early. Don't waste it on store cards and things like that. Um, U.S. Bank is an early play, not a late play. And uh, you got to know what you want to use U.S. Bank for. If, if you like if you like their cards, awesome. If you, if you don't, you don't. So anyways, guys, put in the description your experience with U.S. Bank. I'm going to be making videos daily. I actually got like a ton of more scripts to film here on topics that you guys have been asking me about, on trending topics and all types of stuff. Just trying to give you the, the content that you would get in their mastermind courses or all these guru courses and stuff like that. I just want to pr provide all this content that you can binge watch on for free. You're not paying me, Google's paying me. So take advantage of this. And then if you comment a question, I'll do my best to answer it as fast as I can. And there's, I just want to, my, my visioning dream with this radical marketer YouTube community would be where you can go if you want travel hacks, you want how to get a mortgage, all, anything with credit and making money online, leveraging things outside the box marketing. This is like a one-stop shop for that. And then I have a private uh, Facebook group that you guys can be a part of if you want. Um, I don't sell anything in that. You don't sell anything in that. It's a place to mastermind group and network. And so you guys can join that. That's in the link in the description well. But do me a big favor. If this val if this if if you got any value out of this video whatsoever, please just put that thumbs up button. It just lets YouTube know that the video is good, and they'll keep sending it out to other people. It lets me know that you like it, and I'll keep making more content for you guys. And then also, if uh, you find value, subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later. I'd love to have you on board. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.